So when we left off yesterday, um, Henry, Beezus, and Ramona, along with their dogs Puddle and Ribsy, have arrived at the park to find that there were hundreds of other kids who were already there to enter their dogs in the contest. So let's find out what happens today. Come on, Ribsy. Henry found his way through the crowds of children and dogs to the registration desk. There he waited in line to weigh Ribsy on a big scale. At first, Ribsy didn't want to be weighed, but Henry and a Boy Scout managed to shove him up on the scale and keep him still long enough to see that he weighed 28 pounds. You've grown a lot heavier in a year, said Henry. Maybe we shouldn't call you Ribsy anymore. After the dog was weighed, a lady gave Henry a yellow cardboard armband. It had Wolfie's dog food. Wolfie's make dogs woof for joy printed on it. Below that, there was a space for the kind of dog, weight, and class, and the ring in which the dog was to be shown. The lady wrote on it, mixed breed, 25 to 40 pounds, ring three. Henry led Ribsy toward a side with ring three printed on it over by a flower bed. Ribsy stopped to shake himself, and then before Henry knew what was happening, he dashed over to the flower bed and rolled in the dirt. Hey, cut that out, yelled Henry. You're getting all dirty. It was too late. Henry pulled Ribsy streaked with mud out of the flowers. Henry tried to brush off the dirt. Then he tried to rub it off with his handkerchief. He only smeared it. He was discouraged. Why had he bragged so much about his dog? Now he would never win a prize. When Henry reached ring three, he saw that it was made of rope tied to four stakes driven into the ground. Inside was a table piled with the prizes Henry had read about. Henry looked at the silver cup and thought it would look nice on his dresser. Not that he had a chance with a muddy dog. He noticed some of the boys had brought brushes and were brushing their dogs. He wished he'd thought to bring a brush. The day was warm. Henry sat down on the grass with the rest of the boys and girls to wait for the judging to start. He kept trying to brush some dirt off Ribsy. In the ring next to his, he saw a snow-white dog. Somebody said it was a Siberian sled dog. The dog's owner was brushing him and sprinkling white powder on him to make him look whiter. Well, Henry had an idea. If he had only had time, he could run home for a can of talcum powder to sprinkle on the white parts of Ribsy. That would cover up the dirt. It didn't matter about the yellow and black and brown parts. The dirt didn't show there much. Just then, the voice boomed over the loudspeaker. We are going to postpone the judging for a little while because we have a real treat for all you kids. Maud, the trained mule, is going to entertain you. The children all started toward the truck to see Maud. That is, all except Henry. He was not interested in a trained mule. He wanted Ribsy to win a silver cup. Here was his chance. He could run home and back while Maud the mule performed. Come on, Ribsy, he yelled. We gotta step on it. Followed by Ribsy, he ran as fast as he could out of the park and up the hill to his house on Clickadat Street. He rushed into his room and snatched his hairbrush. He tore into the bathroom and grabbed a can of talcum powder. Then he rushed back to the park with Ribsy. The children were still crowded around Maud. Henry was so hot and sticky that he had to sit down on the grass to catch his breath. Ribsy was panting and his tongue hung out. Henry brushed him with the hairbrush. That helped a little. Then he sprinkled powder on the big white spot on his back. Henry was horrified. He could scarcely believe what he saw. The talcum powder wasn't white. It was pink. Who'd ever heard of a dog with pink spots? Quickly, he tried to brush the powder off. But Ribsy was still damp, and the powder didn't brush off. So tomorrow we'll have to find out if... Ribsy stays pink for the rest of the contest.